Hello everyone. Today I'm here with Danny. Hello guys. And we're gonna rebuild this, which we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, actually we've been thinking of the new hardscape and layout for days without any results. So here we are improvising. Yeah, so actually Balaj and Victor decided that this needs a rebuild because, well, the downside part is actually ugly. The Marcella just gave up on life. It's starting to turn black and brown. And the background is actually the leaves are too big for the scape. So what we are aimed to do is keep the hardscape mostly. So the, the main build is gonna stay the same, but we're gonna replace the plants and probably we're gonna replace some of the rocks in the bottom part. Yeah, and the biggest change since the setup is the lines. We replaced the ATI sandpovers to Chihiro's VV2. I think we will be more successful with the plants underwater. Dibs on the top part. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna start removing everything and then, then decide on how to continue. So stay with us. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. How do you want to remove the sand? I don't. We just take out all the plants and then, then we figure out what to do with the sand. Obviously the fish have been taken out. I'm done. Somehow we should take out the rest of the water, shouldn't we? We removed as much of the water as we could. Obviously there's still very low water level, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to work with this. We won't take out the sand at this moment. We're gonna take out the plants from the sand and then uh, we decide if we need to actually put in fresh sand or just cover it with some fresh sand, whatever. And I think we're gonna start working on the top part as well, taking out the big plants, which we are gonna have some issues with because for example, this Monstera, which covered all the backside, it has the roots coming out here. These roots are actually growing in the backside behind the big rocks. So if we start pulling them out, probably we're gonna knock over some rocks. I think we should divide the plants into we should. aquatic plants, then reusable plants from the top and plants for a later project <laughs> which don't come back in here. I'm gonna start removing Marcilla now. Well, as Marcilla is rooting in the sand, I have to remove the sand as well. I'm not really convinced that these won't grow back <laughs> later. Oh, here we have a little worm. Hi, fella. We have roots everywhere. I don't know what to do with them. Be creative. This one is coming off <laughs> slowly. I'm gonna take it home. I'm 
scraping off the moss from the stones as it's not too healthy and hopefully it's gonna regrow. The problem is that there's no way to remove all these roots. Actually, all the plants we want to remove, they're just gonna grow back. That's for sure. Let me know if something is moving. Ants. I feel like they are all over me. If you remember, Balash built this in a way that there are hoses going through the whole stuff uh, to have the waterfall effect and the cold mist coming in and everything like that. Well, the plants actually grew all around these hoses. I'm pretty sure if we take out everything, there's gonna be leaks all over. I don't know, what's that white weird thingy? <laughs> I know it's Hungarian name, it's Pash tattoo. Okay. It's also not friendly for the plants. It looks cute. We should continue with the underwater part. So why are we doing this? To prevent the soil. Why are we doing this? To prevent feeling. And why we are doing this is to prevent And why, why we are doing this is to prevent soil spilling. I don't know if you I want to. What Danny wanted to say is that we are doing this to prevent sand or soil going into the holes because obviously these holes usually go directly into the filter, so it's not the best idea to fill it with sand. I'm thinking not to use um, any more decoration than what's already inside but fill up around the edges of the rocks with uh, alocaris. That's it for the bottom, but then have clean sand with pebbles inside oh, and, and start up with uh, some microsorums in these big holes. Finally, I find this vivid unit in the Chihiros application, and now it's set to around 6000 Kelvin. It's pretty natural, but we will fine tune it later when we are finished, so it doesn't appear purplish in the video.
Probably Balash put something underneath the rocks to dispense he the He definitely rage. did, because I think there's some kind of net. Yeah. I'm removing as much soil as possible. And we will fill new bags of Colorado or Laplata sand. So probably this plant will be the new home for the ants, because it goes into the same place. I think it's time to decide what kind of soil do we want to use. I'm putting in soil right now. <laughs> it's, it's going in there. You are not really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I got the La Plata and I'm starting pouring it into the tank. And now I'm done, so I'm just rooting for him. At the moment, I'm covering the pump in order to cover the pump. <laughs> we actually decided to ditch the carpet altogether because it looks really nice like this. We're going to have more open space on the bottom for the fish. I think we're gonna go with some very colorful fish to pop them instead of using the carpeting plants. We need some details around the rocks and then I think it's fill up time. Yeah, that's it. That's how you work quick. So, we are done, it actually turned out quite good. Yeah, and it went smoother than expected. Yes, a lot smoother. Obviously the water is still a bit dirty, it's just been filled up. Everything is working, so we still have the waterfall, we have the cold mist, I was a bit worried about those. If you like it better than it used to look, then please hit the like and subscribe to our channel. And let us know what fish would you like to see in the tank. Yes. You're gonna actually see the fish by the time you see this video, but, <laughs> but let us know if we choose them right or you want something else. That's it. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>